How's it going guys? Sam from Mindac here and today we're going to be doing something different. We are switching things up and we're going to be spear fishing for some fish. Either pike or European rod which is kind of like a carp species like a shiner. They're basically just a big big minnow. Anyways, we got the lovely spears right here and we got them with a the gooseneck with the GoPro on it. We got two of them. We got our flippers. We're decked out. We even got snorkel gear. We got Shep, the tan man, the legend. He's got a little white stuff on his nose. I don't know what you two did. You guys disappeared for about <laughs> hey, five minutes. But then we got Akin. You haven't been in a video in a long time, guy. Have I? It's been a little while. It's been a minute. It's been a little, I've been working too much. I know. I don't so, know what that strat is. I'm sorry. Once it comes around duck hunting season, though, then you'll I be more free. Then I have to wake free. up early in the morning and grind it out. Yes, guys, but so. I'm loving the fit. The boys got the swim trunks. We're all decked out. Shep is... I'm protecting... I don't like skin cancer. Anyway, this water is... Fingers crossed it's gonna be clear. And uh, we're gonna get fishing here. Well, not really fishing, we're gonna get hunting more like it. But we're gonna go get scuba up and uh, get the GoPros on us. See you guys down at the lake. Well, we're at the lake. I don't know where our Mr. Sun went. Uh, you can't really see too much now. <laughs> well, boys, we are ready to go. I got my headset on. We're gonna get the flippers on. I haven't done this in over two or three years. Don't blame me if we don't get any shots right away. We're probably gonna miss a couple times. Shep has never been before, so it's his first time. <sighs> Wish us luck. We're gonna get the GoPros running. We're gonna get some in, and hopefully we can spear a pike or some rod. I'll see you guys out there. Alrighty, gun is loaded. Shep's on safety. We're gonna get swimming here. Mr. Akin, you ready? <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna go. In. Oh, she's pretty clear. Almost looks like a musky almost, but it's not. It's a freaking pike. Look at that guy's mouth. My golly, that's a nice one. I saw so many freaking fish down there, they're just hard to get close to and get a good shot. This one luckily didn't see me and I was ready. I was able to get right up on him and spear him. And then we also saw a giant smallmouth. That thing was probably close to six. Boys! That thing was freaking giant. It was probably close to six pounds. But the boys are right over there. They're still looking. I don't think they've gotten one yet. We got one so far. We've seen a lot. It's getting a little tricky to get on them. So we're going to see if we can't get a few more. You guys just stay tuned. 
and uh, we'll see what we can do. and we're gonna stop the video right there i'm just joking but um as you guys can tell this footage is kind of crappy i didn't realize how bad it was gonna be up until i actually edited it so i feel bad and i have some old clips from isaac and i going out from like four to five years ago and we actually speared some decent sized fish for you guys and the water was a lot clearer back then too so i feel like i owe it to you guys it's like a two or three minute clip and i'm gonna throw that in here for you guys like i said this was four or five years ago that's a long time ago isaac and i were like 14 we could barely drive we, we were young okay anyway i hope you guys enjoyed these old clips of ours uh so you guys just stay tuned and uh enjoy <laughs> Alrighty guys, that was kind of interesting. Definitely should have shot a few more as you guys can see there, but 
It is what it is. Isaac wasn't able to shoot one for some reason, but we saw a lot, and that smallmouth was freaking giant. How big do you think dude, he was? that thing was pushing six. That thing was like 24 inches. That thing was a kegger, ass. dude. We're gonna go with that pike, go home, clean them, cook them, and I'll see you guys there. All right, we got a medium heat going on this pan, so some oil, and I don't know what happened. Isaac was controlling the camera, and he just missed everything that we did here he with did the pipe. did it before he allowed me to grab the camera. No, I I started, and you had the camera busy. in your hand. I was busy. Busy? And Chip's over here pouring some tea. Better be for me, oh, thank you. We got a lovely pike here. We got some breadcrumbs, flour, mixing going around here. And uh, we put some seasonings on it, some Italian seasoning, some Parmesan cheese, some salt, some pepper, some garlic, some onion powder. And what, you put something else on there. I forgot, what was it? It was like this like Old Bay stuff. Yeah, that's what it was, Old right. Bay stuff. We're gonna try Maybe. it. So, we're just gonna wait till this heats up, and then we're gonna put the fish in there. Should be pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. We're gonna let that heat up and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. The oil is very hot, I would say. Um, the grease is jumping out, as what uh, Chance Rapp would say. So we're gonna take our lovely pike fillet, dump them in there. Ooh, a little splatter there, my bad. But these should not take long to cook at all. Dump them in, probably about two or three minutes and they should be ready to flip and then another minute or two and then we'll take them off, let them cool down and then it's munching time. All right, our lovely pike is done cooking. As you guys can see right there, we got some more to us. And then we got some hot dog buns that we're gonna be making some sandwiches out of. So, open up your hot dog bun. Take a nice little filet like that. Oh my, dude, look at that. Fits freaking perfectly into that hot dog bun. Um, I'm just gonna go in for a bite, just the meat itself, so cheers. That all has it. They're a little hot. It's good. It's good. It tastes like a pike. Mm -hmm. Like, pike is a good bash. It tastes like fish, yeah. It's a little fishy, but it's not that bad, though. You know? Like, it's not horribly fishy. Chef is giving me a weird face right now. I don't think he's. You're just getting all the taste. The parmesan in the breadcrumbs. Kind of. It? It's something different, something new. It's a little bit more crunchier than just like a flour or uh, as you would put on shore launch or anything. Which I, I, I kind of vibe it. Who doesn't like fried fish? That's what I'm saying. So, put some cheese on top. You guys can put some tartar sauce or whatever you guys put on. But Cheers. me and Chef are plain boys. Cheers, Akin. I don't want your tartar sauce down here. Okay. Cheers to you guys. Tastes like chicken. Probably like a bunch of random seasonings down there. That's really good. It's not bad. Honestly, I think it could be better. I think I like the white bass sandwiches more. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 7.2. I give it a solid 7. I, I'm not like a huge fan of it, but I'm not. I've had pike better than this one. I don't know if it was just because of how we prepared it or what, but it's 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 not bad. It's not great. You know, like I'll eat it. Maybe sure lunch is just the way to go. I, I think so. We are gonna finish eating the rest of this, and I will see you guys after. Look at this cute puppy dog. Hey, Cabby, how's it going, Cabby? Did you have the fish? You did not have the fish. I am so sorry. You were scratching up my arms. You are a little cutie, though. Anyways. We just got done eating. Tanner is currently leaving. Isaac is cleaning up the kitchen for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know we didn't shoot the most fish today, right, Gabby? But it's all right. If you guys want to see a part two where we actually go and like clap some fish, this time it's been like four years since Isaac and I have done this. How long ago was it since we last did this? Like four or five years ago? Spear fishing? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's been a minute. So we're rusty. Yeah. It took us a minute to find <laughs> yeah, the fish, and the water was a little murky. We've had a lot of rain lately. So, if you guys want to see Isaac and I do a part two of this, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys like. Comment down below if we should go shoot carp too, because those are illegal as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we will catch you guys in the next one.